guys, what's up? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Hey, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and notifications bell. Like, comment, and share, and let's get into the video. And as you can tell by the title, I'm going to be showing you guys how I do my famous poly gel nails. Um, a lot of you guys have been requesting that I do this. I'm going to be showing how I do it, the materials that I use, and where I got it from. And I'm going to try to link all of this stuff down in the description box if I can find where I got it from. Show my setup to you guys, and then we're just going to get into it. Okay guys, so this is my setup here. I have my desk and my makeup's in here, but you know, that's not today's video. So over here I have this little like bin type thing. It holds all of my nail sizes. I have 0 to 9. I have cuticle oils, cuticle creams, and then two bottles of nail glue. I have extra nail um, filer things. I have uh, different gel oh, shoot. nail polishes and glitters um, nail what are these called? I don't even know. Nail clippers uh, another nail clippers and then um, in drawer. I have all my different poly gels, top coat, base coat, clips that I have the back with some foil, and then another color of poly gel that I will be using in this video. Then I have my LED lamp that I use. It's from Amazon. Everything I have is from Amazon. I have my nail drill that comes with different nail heads. If, as you can see, there's different ones. Um, and then these are my dual forms, which I don't use. I do use tips. Then I have my mirror that I don't use that for um, nails. I have my 100% acetone that I use for slip solution to mold the poly gel. And then in this Starbucks cup, I just have some files and some brushes um, that I use to do the nails. Okay, so before I start doing my nails, I need to prep my nails and sorry how ratchet they look right now. So I'm going to take their nail polish off my nails and then I'm going to go in and um, fix up my cuticles and as you can see I have a lot of dead skin around my nails. So I'm going to get rid of that and then I'm going to start sizing my nail tips. Hey guys, so I'm doing a voiceover right now, obviously, but when I was doing this, I thought that you just had to get, like, nail polish remover or 100% acetone and get a cotton pad and just wipe it off, but then I realized that that was not the case and I read the instructions after doing this, but you're supposed to let the nail polish soak in acetone and then scrape it off with, like, a little pick. Um, but I just ended off filing it off, which is probably not the best because I filed off, like, obviously layers of my nail. But just for further, um, like, information on this, do not do that. I just listen to the instructions and just soak it in acetone. Okay, guys, so I just finished getting my nails prepped and i'm going to be putting on my nails i picked these out um i have a nine an eight a five a seven and a four for my nails okay guys so i just applied my nail onto this finger and filed it down um, now I am going to be applying the poly gel. Here I have my clear um, poly gel. I got this in a kit that I will link down below that I got from Amazon. Um, but before I put that on, you need to put a base coat on that I also got from the kit. So I'm going to be doing that, then applying the poly gel. Now when you put the poly gel on, you need to make sure that you have a slip solution. Um, in this case, the kit did come with one, but I ran out. So that's where the 100% acetone comes in. And I just put it in a little jar that I have. And then I use this brush, one side, the thing that you take the poly gel out of the tube with. And the other side, a brush that you dip in the acetone 
dip in the acetone and then you apply it onto your nail molding the poly gel now i'll be back when i have the poly gel on and when it's um cured okay so now i have the poly gel on there it is clear poly gel because i'm going to be um painting it and the design that i'm going to be doing is i'm going to be using this blush pink poly gel nail polish um for the base and then i have a black one of these in the, my drawer that i showed you before and i'm going to be doing cow prints it's going to be like a pink and black cow print so i'm going to go ahead and just finish all of the um poly gels on like all of my hands and then i'll come back to you when i'm going to be doing the cow print okay guys so don't mind all this mess but i have just finished one hand of just doing the clear poly gel so this is how they look like i'm so in love with them but i'm gonna go ahead and do this hand now because it's looking a little dull and then i'll get back to you guys when they are finished so this was the first hand that i did and now this is the second one so they are both done and ready to be painted so now i am gonna go in with this salon gel polish um this is gonna be like the background for the cow print um it's in color shall we dance which i love 130 and it's by sally hansen this is not sponsored by the way um but i'm gonna go ahead and do a time slap of me putting this on and then i'll be back when i'm gonna do the cow print Okay guys, so back with another voiceover, but I just wanted to say um, if you guys plan on purchasing this, that this product on the instructions only says that you need one to two coats. Um, and when I did it, you actually need about three to four. And I did it, I don't know if you can see in the time slot because it's fast, but I did it four coats on the top. I think it's actually three, like three coats on the top. And then I did another three coats on the back of the nail. So in total, that's probably like eight coats that I did, eight or six coats. And to me, that's like a lot. But if you have the time, if you don't care about that, then go ahead and do it. Okay, so I have just finished putting on the pink coat of my nails. As you can see, they're just a light pink. Um, now I'm, I'm going to use this gel black. It came in like this thingy, this like container in the color I'm the Black Sheep. There's no number on it, but that's the name of it. And this is a different brand than the other one. It's that one. But now I'm going to do the cow print and then I'll be back when I'm done. Okay, guys. So I just finished one hand and it's actually looking really good. I'm loving the way how it looks. Um, but I still have this hand to do. So I'm going to go ahead and do them and then I'll be back to show the final reveal. Okay, guys. After many, many hours, they are finally, finally done. Here's the other hand. I am actually really happy with how they turned out. Um, yeah, I'm really happy how they turned out. Um, but thank you so much for watching this video. It is now over. Um, I started when it was daylight and now as you can see it is nighttime so it has been a while um, but before we end this video make sure to like comment and share and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video